Hey guys, and welcome to this episode of Hippo Tech, bringing the latest in tech news, reviews, and more. Today I'm going to have a quick tutorial for you guys on how to easily change your system and dock icons. Enjoy the video! So the first thing you want to do to change your icons is download a program that will do that for you. You could do this manually, but it takes a really long time. You have to make sure all your application um, icons are backed up so you can change them back if something goes wrong. And um, there's a lot of programs out there that will do that just for you. So the one I'm going to be using in this tutorial is called Candy Bar. I'm um, sorry the page did not load correctly. But um, Candy Bar costs $30, but they do have a trial version. So you can try it out. It is a two-week trial, and you are limited to 250 icons. But um, unless you have a lot of applications on your Mac, you won't really need to um, worry about the icon limit. So what you want to do is just download um, or buy this application. Uh, it's thirty dollars again. I'm not too bad. And then, um, in order to change your icons, you have to download some icons. So they supply you with this nice source of icons right here, and they are free. So IconFactory.com. They have great um, icons, and the icons that I'm going to be using in this um, tutorial is called Flurry. So I'm just going to look for Flurry, and um, Here's one of them, Flurry Extras 2. It comes with a couple extras. And what you want to do is download the eye container. So this little icon right here is the eye container. And um, basically what it is, is it's just a kind of almost a zip file. But it's all icons and they keep all the icons in this little container. So that's why it's called an eye container. So you're just going to click on this and download that as well. So if you um, download an icon set, such as Flurry, and it has usually any number on it or something like that. Um, it will have a second part. So you want to download those two because there's a lot of applications that they missed in the first one that you would want to send. For example, in Flurry Extras 2, there is iWeb. So most people would want an iWeb icon and stuff like that. So you just download all of that fun stuff. Now what you want to do is open up Candy Bar. Just wait for it to load. So once you're in Candy Bar, in order to um, import icons, all you have to do is click on the little gear right here and go to Import. You want to go to Eye Container and find that Eye Container. So in here, here's Flurry Extras 4. What I would do is just click on it, click Open. It's usually um, downloaded into your Downloads um, folder unless you chose otherwise. And just import all those icons. It doesn't take very long at all. And now all you need to do is go to... Um, the gear again and choose use icons as system replacements. It will replace all of the icons that it could find. Um, it does that every time for some reason. It doesn't normally crash, it only crashes when it's green flow. But um, we want to do it'll just use like icons as system replacements. It'll find all the ones that it could detect um, to replace. You're gonna have to do some of these manually, but it doesn't take too long, um, fortunately. But um, they also supply you with a lot of alternative icons. So, for example, I really don't like this folder icon. So, I'm going to use the one from one of the extra packs, um, if I can find it. Here it is. And that just looks much nicer to me overall. So, I'm just going to fill in some of these uh, icons. And I'll get back to you when I finish that. Okay, so now that you have all the icons to your liking, you're going to have to do this one more time in the applications tab right here. So right in the applications tab, um, it'll replace most of them for you, but there are still a lot of them to be replaced. For example, Sims 3, I somehow have three icons. So I'm just going to scroll down and find my Sims 3 icon and replace it. And I'm just going to be replacing all these icons, and then I'll get back to you once I do that. On a quick side note, they do not have an icon for every application. So what I like to do is kind of um, make up uh, icon for an application. For example, this is a little VLC icon that they made, but they do have a different one that um, you can see right here. So, um, since I don't have one for Mplayer X, I guess use this one because it looks very similar to the Mplayer X icon. That's just what I like to do when they don't have a um, icon for different apps. Sometimes I can't really find one. For example, screen floater isn't really a good one to use um, in place I don't have one. So that's just a quick little side note, and I'm just going to uh, continue changing the icons, and I'll get back to you then. There's also a nice little search feature at the bottom here. So since I can't find an icon, I know they have it. I'm going to search it down here. 
but sometimes it doesn't work very well. So, so once we're all done with that, uh, we can go into the dock. And I like to use the simple dock with this thing. It just looks much nicer overall. So that was just going to relaunch the dock automatically. And now what, all we want to do is press Apply Icons. And you're going to put in your um, password and everything. So just do that. And it will go through and change the icons. Um, we'll just press Cancel for now. And we're going to do that again here. And sometimes it gets stuck, but that's no big deal. Um, we're just going to wait for it to finish. You might get the little rainbow wheel, and um, you might have to redo this again. It will be fine. So once I finish doing that, I will get back to you. Once you're done doing this, you're going to get a window like this. And you're just going to say relaunch dock. So you're just going to press relaunch dock. Um, and it's not going to change anything. So, um, what we're going to do is we have to restart the computer. I know it says it only to relaunch the dock or log out, but the changes are only made, especially for the applications, after you restart the computer. So I'm just going to catch you back once I restart the computer. So see you later. So once you restart your computer, it may not look like you have really done anything. So you can see only the finder and the dashboard icons have changed. Now, the only reason, the only part of this um, that you don't see are these two. So what you have to do is drag your icons out and drag the new icons into the dock, like so. So Mac App Store, bye bye, just drag those in and out. And then you will have the dock that you are looking for. So that's basically the end of this tutorial. Um, there's one more thing that I will show you right after I finish replacing all my dock icons. Um, and yeah, so look out for more videos. I'll have a lot of more videos coming up. I do have a review and unboxing coming up very soon. Um, I'm awaiting the arrival of the product. So um, look out for that and that should be an interesting review. Also, um, I have a lot of social links. Check the down bar below for those social links and um, you can just catch up on when I'm making videos and stuff like that. So, um, I'm just going to open up Candy Bar real quickly. Now, um, let's say you decide you don't want these icons anymore. Once this loads up, um, I'll show you what you can do to get rid of these icons very, very easily. This is the reason why you probably want to use a program to um, do this instead of doing it by yourself. There's a really nice Restore Icons button right up here for you. All you have to do is press Restore Icons, log out, and log back in. You don't have to restart your computer or anything. No will restore the icons for you because it's really great, very simple. So that's about it for this video. Um, be sure to comment, like this video, and subscribe. Until the next time for more tech news, reviews, and more. Bye.